Hi, I'm Tracy Christensen, your host on Community Connection. Providing cultural and educational events that promote continued learning, understanding, and respect in the community is the goal of the Logan Tabernacle Concert and Lecture Series. Gary Poor joins me today to tell us more about what's going on in beautiful Cache Valley. Welcome, Gary. Thank you, Tracy. It's good to be here with you. Well, it's fun. You know, the Logan Tabernacle is so beautiful, and it's some distance away for some, but why should we make the drive up to Logan and enjoy the events there? Well, many people love to perform in the Tabernacle. In fact, it's such a wonderful venue that I get contacted from people uh, miles and miles away, I've been contacted from people in, in Provo and in Salt Lake and, of course, in uh, Idaho and different states, but uh, they love to come and perform in the Tabernacle because of its acoustics. Yes, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous building and, and beautiful sounding. So tell us about some of the events and who performs there and what can we expect to see? Well, we're talking about our Christmas series at this time. So it's, we have more than just our regular scheduled events. On uh, the, what, second weekend in uh, December, we're going to have a community benefit program that will be uh, getting money for the uh, food pantry. Then after that, our series starts, where we have uh, eight different performing groups or soloists that will be coming and performing. We'll be having... Uh, uh, three choral groups that are well known in the community. One from one from Bear River, across the uh, mountains, called the Bear River Valley Reflections. A wonderful women's group. Huh. We're going to have the Imperial Glee Club, which is in its hundredth year wow. in Logan. Then we're going to have. Uh, I happen to direct one of the choirs, which is a Logan Town Singers. They're the oldest mixed choir in community, 48 years in existence. And then we're going to have uh, a number of uh, other, well, we have the bell choir, the Westminster bell choir, that's a wonderful that's community fun. favorite. That, uh, and all doing Christmas songs, all get everyone Christmas in programs. the festive Christmas spirit. Yes. And a neat thing is that all these events are free. That's correct. How are they funded? It's funded by the RAPS tax, which is a one fourth of one percent that's uh, on the sales tax that is dedicated to recreation, arts, parks, and zoos. And so we're the beneficiaries of some of that. Great, and so are all of us. Yes. We get to go free. Yes. That's excellent. So these, these groups that are performing, uh, talk about their skill level and what they bring to the community. Oh, well, we're going to have a great variety from uh, essentially near professional. Well, in fact, we're going to have in one of our programs a group from uh, this area that's coming up. The Heartstrings are going to be guests uh, on our program and they performed in the Tabernacle, they performed for general authorities, they performed internationally. It's, it's a family group that is very outstanding. We're going to have uh, Skyview High School, a number of their courses and soloists, giving that age group an opportunity. Of course, the Imperial Glee Club is an older group. My choir is an older group. The River, River Reflections are, um, have a wider age span than we have. Then we're going to have a fun little concert we were saying Christmas is for children, and I've asked people, some of the different music studios in the community, to give us some of the youngest to the mid-teen students Fine. who are their, their best. Because I, I attended a, a string teachers program in the springtime, and they had some of the cutest little squirts, four years old, <laughs> playing the violin and playing beautifully, and just really touched your heart. Oh, so great. hopefully we're gonna have a wonderful variety for that. And so when people come up to see the concerts, what else can they see and experience in Cache Valley? Oh, in Cache Valley in the wintertime, it's just beautiful. Uh, the mountains, of course, on, the whole, on each side, and we have uh, a lot of restaurants there that are now notable. that's important. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's really the concert series, especially in the summertime, is one of the reasons a lot of the summer visitors come up and yes. provide uh, a big boost to the economy. Logan, we have USU activities, a lot of concert groups, a lot of uh, dramatic groups it's that a, um, have uh, entertainment going all the time. It's, it's a beautiful area and, and worth the drive. And thanks for bringing that music to us in the holiday season. You're Remind welcome. us of your website. It's uh, logantabernacle.blogspot.com. Excellent. Thanks for being with us. You're welcome.
Here at 11, our goal is to act as a bridge between our viewers and what's going on in the community. If you'd like to learn more about the Logan Tabernacle Concert and Lecture Series, please visit kbyu11.org and click on the Community tab. Thanks a lot for being with us. We hope to see you again on Community Connection.